Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number 56. We're going to continue doing our level transitioning. And, um, you know, I had an idea. <clears throat> Not sure if it's a good one. But I was thinking about this thing here, right? And I'm kind of tempted to make my own <clears throat> um, control custom editor, not a custom editor, custom inspector that would allow me to have like multiple lines and then two bits, you know, two little points on the line, just like a normal slider and change it a little bit so that I could say like, okay, this goes from zero to one, zero is the beginning, one is the end of the entire level transition. And then maybe at point, I don't know, one, five and point six, <clears throat> between this part of the transition, that's when we would do our zoom or one of our zooms. It seems like a nice, I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't really need the visual marker. That would make it a lot easier to test, but um, I think it'd be overkill to actually develop it now that I'm considering it really. So, um, we could just do this with two floats, right? That seems like a decent solution. And that would give us a curve for each. Okay. Yeah, let's let's try doing that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make a new class. And this is in world scale transition. We can call this um part of a transition, a transition piece. Let's move this over here. Transition part, I don't like that. Section. And this should definitely be system serializable so we can see it in the inspector. And this is also going to have a public Do we want an animation curve? Um, or do we want to transform ease? What does our transform ease have again? Curve duration. Okay, so we're just going to do a curve here. public float, um, ratio start, <clears throat> ratio end. Actually, we'll call this start percentage. No, that's not right either. The point in the overall transition in which it starts. Oh, sure, start. <laughs> <laughs> and end. Keep it simple. Um, and this will give us a scale, a position curve. Um, <clears throat> and there will probably be a lot of sections here. In fact... We could get rid of most of these. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Dang. Hmm. Well, right now we've got our our scale and our position. 
And I want to add our fade curve as well, right? <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to rename this to start time and end time. And then I think also what I might want to do is um, we'll make an enum in here called section type. And currently we have a We'll have a vector three and a float. <clears throat> and I think that's all we have right now. Now, can I, depending on this type, use different values? I don't know. can't really use templates in this case. I would like to use templates, but I don't think that... Hmm, I've never tried to do that. Let's see what happens. Um, Unity template templated class in inspector. <clears throat> 2017, that seems fine. Currency. Cannot serialize class using Unity Serializer if it has fields with generics. I thought so. Okay. However, you can define subclasses for constructed generic types. That's not really what I want. Um... Or is it? I feel like I'm over engineering this. Um, maybe that is what I want. Let's see if this works. I'm curious. Public class um, section type. I haven't done this a lot before. Um, C sharp generic where where T is okay. I always forget the syntax of that. Yeah, I think these are structs, and it's not going to be happy about that. 
Okay, let's not get too crazy with this. Just gonna keep it this way. We've got our class declared. <clears throat> We'll have our list of sections. Now the reason I put, let's see, so we have our position, our scale, and our fade. I have three of them now. And what I really like about having a string is the in the first item, the first field is that we can do this. I can put the name here, give it this out position, and you can see here that it actually um, changes the name of this in the inspector, which is really nice. And then we can do this, hide in inspector, And now those disappear, but the names stay. So if I ever want to change these names, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back in here, remove this hide in inspector, and then change the names and then hide it again. <clears throat> Not optimal, but it, I like the result. The result is very nice. Um, we're also going to need a private float total transition duration. And this is how long the whole thing's gonna take from starting to exit this current scene to being done with zooming in the in scene. We'll say five seconds, that's a long time. We'll say three seconds. <clears throat> so our out position, let's say starts at 0, ends at 0.5, out scale ends at 0.5, out fade, we'll say starts at 0.2, ends at 0.4. <clears throat> And let's pick some different ones here. Seems like fun. I don't know, I'm just sort of goofing around. We don't really use this zoom in, target scale. See, that's the problem. We have to give target values for these. And the target for the position is different from the target for the scale. Different type, even. You know what we could do is we could just use a custom inspector here. And then depending on the type, draw the right variables. Nope, that was silly. And I should have commented out that enum. <clears throat> I 
And so we're going to need a... Where does that live? I'm pretty sure we have a custom editor for our cubes. It should be in the editor folder. Cube face spawner editor. Okay, so we'll call this world scale transition editor. And that inherits from <clears throat> editor do, 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 and we care about on enable and on disable. Oh, I actually think it's Unity Editor. There we go. There we go. And then we also need a private on GUI? That can't be right. Um, let's double check this bad boy over here. Cube faces doing stuff, setting it up. On Inspector GUI. And then on enable, do we get the target? Yeah, we get the target. I'll do that. Um, and this is on inspector in really ah it's angry because of the override or the private So we need to find a way to draw each thing specifically. So here's our draw default inspector. We don't quite want to do that, right? Um, we want to draw most of it, but then depending on the type. So let's see, we, uh, this is all going to go away now, isn't it? Curve, start time, end time. Uh, GUI layout, editor GUI layout. Um, and then this is going to be a enum pop up. And the label is going to be curve. <laughs> Excuse me. And then the Value is going to be target.curve. Target dot. Jeez, I can't even remember.
sections. Can I convert from curve to layout option? Oh, that's not what I want. Um, do, 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 do. Type. Transition type. Hey, there we go. So we should just see the type and the curve now when we go back over to here of the first item. No? Interesting. At the target. <clears throat> do I do anything in on disable? No, I don't think I do. Ah, custom editor. Hey, oh. Multi-object editing is not supported. There we go. Cool. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, that's right. I need to say... Um, and of course, we're going to change this to... And then we need to cast it. Oh boy. World scale transition dot section, no, dot type. Oh, and this is an enum, not a class. Right, right, right. Fun times. Got to cast it C style. Nice. Cool. Looking good. <clears throat> so we've got a type in our curve. Um, we also are going to have a start time and end time. And you know what? Let's do the loop now. This is a WST current equals Oh, this is actually section. Oh WST dot section. And we can move this up. And I'm also going to Control H. I'm going to replace, oops, caps lock, target dot sections at zero with current. There we go. Float, and this will be start. Time. <clears throat> and then depending on 
type draw different fields. And we're going to do this, except we're going to replace everything time with value. Cool. Oh, hey, that's supposed to be target, isn't it? And then we'll do this, and we'll replace value with vector. Whoa, right. Vector three field. And that should be it. A nice, simple little custom inspector. Oh dear. Sure, that looks awful. Um, <clears throat> we're also going to need an editor GUI layout dot array. No. What is that called? The collapse uh, foldout? Ah, oh, dang. <clears throat> um, this should be fine. Let's see. So we'll have a class for World Scale Transition Inspector Data. Oh yeah, look at that name. Classy. Um, let's see. So this is definitely going to have section data. I will just call it section. And then bool is shown. Hmm. <laughs> So on enable, <clears throat> I guess we'll have a list of these, right? WSTID. And on enable, we will data.clear and we'll copy this code. Actually, we'll grab all of this. Oh, dang. Should it remember? It should remember, huh? Okay, that'll make it a lot easier. Easier, excuse me. Boop, boop. And our world scale transition, let's also do another. Hide an inspector, public, pool, draw in inspector. <coughs> We'll fold out, so we'll do this afterwards. Current dot draw an inspector. And then the string is going to be the name.
And actually, let's just do if don't draw. Oops. Let's just continue. No need to keep stacking. I mean, you know, curly braces in. It's an easy out. Does this even work? Let's see. Hey. Oh, we're almost there, though. That's very exciting. So we got these two. I unselect, go back. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe we deleted that. That's a big mistake. Hey, it remembered. Very exciting. Cool. Um, we also, oh, man, it's like, oh, it's almost like I'm recreating, hold on, vector three scale is a float, oh yeah, position is a vector three, fade is a float. <clears throat> That means we're also going to need a section count. Um, I feel like I'm rewriting almost all of Unity's inspector code. <laughs> and this is going to be section count. Maybe we'll need to store this. And then if previous count, oops. If they are not the same, then we should call um, repopulate sections. No, grow shrink sections. <clears throat> it's so funny, like I planned to work on level transitioning today. And instead of doing that, I ended up writing a custom inspector. But this custom inspector is going to make it a lot easier for us to develop and balance and tune the level transitioning. So I'm probably going to name this video differently <clears throat> uh, when I post it on YouTube. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Grow and shrink sections. Okay, so... I guess what we'll do is we'll get a reference to, this is in our world scale transition dot section, 
array temp we'll store this I'm going to change this size of this to do, 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 do. Guess I can't. Initialize? No. Sure. Okay, we'll just say equals new. Oops. Of size count. Let's do a while loop here. No, that's silly. For loop. And while this one's less than count, we are going to if section index is less than temp.count. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, temp.length, right? Target sections at section index equals new. World scale transition dot section, and we should use a copy constructor. Will this even work? I don't know if C sharp has implicit copy constructors. It's a good question. Let's see. Does not contain a constructor that takes one arguments. Yay, copy constructors. I'm going to just say that it always starts as false. Um, Target, that gets me every time. Target, vector. times. Oh, why don't you like that? Target sections. And we'll do an else here. So if we've gone outside of the range, then instead of doing the selected index or the section index, I'm going to do temp.length minus one. Section count three, let's do six, so we should get three more fades. Oh yeah. What about two? Oh Jesus! 
Uh, now this is going to break, huh? Holy Jesus. Okay, that's not great. Oh my god. Um. Hmm. I wonder what's actually happening here. Mm, not there. We need to put it here. So our number is currently three. What if we delete you? New count is zero. I mean, it should go down to zero. <clears throat> that makes sense to me. Um, but when we're doing this grow shrink thing, let's um, let's make a default section. Oh, geez. Well, we can just do it all in the in here, can't we? Whoa, hey, oh, come on, keyboard. Let's be friends here. We'll say vector three is default. Um, default curve. Start time is zero. End time is zero. Do 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 do. Almost there. Oops, that should be target vector. You know what? Let's just do this. Default section, and we will say... So drawing, here's our resize. And if temp that length equals zero. Oh, you know what? We could just always copy the default here. I like that a lot better. Cool. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to change that bit, like I said earlier. But um, let's do that now. I might have a shorter, shorter thing today because I have a meeting at 2 o'clock. Oh, dang. No, this doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Um, I 
let's just make a bool edit section names. And so up here, draw inspector, here's our fold out. If don't draw it, continue. Target dot, I had just named this, edit, no, this needs to be public. Editor GUI layout text field and the name is name and the text is current dot name. Hmm? <clears throat> oh my god, I have to draw it all. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> That's okay. This is way too much work. I am starting to regret this. Target dot edit section names and then Hey, there we go. So this is out position. And that's a vector three. This is out scale, and that is a float. And this is out fade. That is also a float. And I picked some goofy, non consistent things here. That's definitely something to play with later. N times 0 0.5. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm not, I shouldn't be hard coding these vectors in here, right? I should be giving it a transform link to lerp to. Oh, and the thing I'm going to be lerping to. Oh my gosh, this is getting way out of hand. Okay, well, this is a good place to stop. We've got our custom, Let's see what happens when we add four, none, cool. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's a big problem. Um, oh, Jesus, that's real bad. But I think I'm out of time. How much did we get today? 49 minutes? Not bad. A little bit shorter than normal. Man, that sucks, though. Just deleting this, like I'll have to say five, but if I just delete it, which I'm used to doing, hmm, let's make a note of that. Oh, I had an idea about this too. Um, this should not be based on screen dimensions. 
calculate min swipe distance based on the pixel The length of a side of a cube in pixel space divided by two, right? So that means like if I have, if I've got my cube here, or I'm like real far away from the cube, I only have to go a little bit to move it here you know, half of the cube, but here I still have to go half of the cube. And so I feel like that would sort of enforce the illusion that like the player has the cube selected and as soon as his finger crosses the border of this, um, of the edge of the cube, then the cube spins. So I had that idea yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. Uh, what's the other thing? Um, do, 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 do. World transition custom editor deletes all sections when count is deleted. Fix this. Okay, well, that's it for me. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely day.